What's good, BitRushers? My name's D5Brains, and you are watching BitRush Crypto. Today's video, we're going to dig into a new up-and-coming stablecoin platform, Terra, as well as their own token, the Luna token. I'm going to go over what it is, why you should care, and how to set up Terra Station, the Web3 wallet for Luna. If all that sounds good, do stick around. But before we get into the content, please do me a favor and tap the thumbs up on the button. Sub to the channel if you're not already. Bell to be notified as content drops. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video or what else you think I should be covering. And make sure you find the links in the description for everything regarding today's video, as well as my social media, which you should also follow. If that all sounds good, then here we go. Okay, before we get into the actual content, I just want to remind you guys to come over to Twitter and follow my new company, Abraxas. It is Abraxas underscore DAO. We are a Web3 entertainment company with a strong focus on NFT games and building unique digital experiences for the blockchain. We have lots of whitelist giveaways and some other exciting stuff coming. We do a weekly AMA, a game night. And every Friday we get together in Discord and watch a movie, movie night. So if that all sounds good, make sure you jump in the Discord as well as following us on Twitter. And let's get into the video. Okay, so we're going to come on over to Terra.money. It is T-E-R-R-A dot money. Um, that's going to be the website for the Terra project. It says programmable money for the internet spend save and stake like never before terra is a public blockchain protocol deploying a suite of algorithmic decentralized stable coins which underpin a thriving ecosystem that brings DeFi to the masses scrolling down a little bit we could see a little bit more on what they have to offer here we have an industry leading decentralized stable coin ust or us terra we have a vibrant smart contract platform, thriving cross-chain DeFi environment, and built on the Cosmos software developer kit and Tendermint consensus. Terra is a leading cross-chain protocol in the industry with Terra assets supported by leading blockchains. And we can come down here and see all of them in the ecosystem. There is quite a bit going on here, guys. We have Ethereum, we have Solana, we have Binance Smart Chain, we have Matic or Polygon. So a lot of big players as well as a whole bunch of other ones are in the mix and are being involved with Luna or the Terra blockchain. You're probably thinking though, however, what is Terra? Why is it useful? Why do I care? And essentially, I'm just gonna break it down like this. It is a decentralized stable coin. So we do have several other competitors to them in the industry, to the UST, and that would be say Tether, or say something like Binance US dollar. And so all of these uh, other coins are fairly centralized in that they are owned by one single entity, one company. Um, and so what Terra is looking to do here is essentially is just decentralize that and have a stable coin that's not only pegged to the US dollar, but they have several other stable coins. Say you live in Korea, they have a coin that's pegged to the Korean dollar, whatever the dollar there is called. Um, basically all over the world, they have many different stable coins, so you don't have to operate only in US dollars. If you are in another country, you want to accept payments in another country and still use crypto and DeFi, they're allowing that to happen by having several basically stable coins, all of different currencies. And so they can stabilize the currency in many different worldwide fiats. This allows them to operate on a larger global scale, which I do think is something that will be necessary in the future, even if it's not necessarily right now. We have also seen their tokens starting to blow up. Um, they're locking a ton of money into the market cap on UST, and we've seen Luna skyrocketing, even though the rest of the blockchain, the rest of the crypto industry here as a whole is tanking in a bear market. Luna seems to only be on a bull run, and it is running straight up. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual coin over on CoinGecko. So keep in mind, as I mentioned earlier, there is UST, which is US Terra. There's also a bunch of other stable coins, as I mentioned, for each country that is involved in this project. So we're not gonna be talking about those, but they have raised quite a bit. The market cap for UST has also been on a run and raised quite a bit. And you guys can check the charts if you wanna take a look at that. However, what we have right here is the unstable coin, right? The regular governance um, operating coin here for Terra is going to be called Luna. 
It's currently raised all the way up to number seven by market cap sitting at $91.06 as of today's recording. All right, taking a look at the all-time chart here, you can see we started way, way down at about 40 cents and just absolutely exploded here. We did drop off with the rest of the market and in the, uh, about late February here, took another explosion right up to the top. We're now sitting, as I mentioned, just about around $90. So at this point, we are at number seven market cap. We do still have some room to run. However, I'm not suggesting you guys are gonna make a 10X at this point, because we've already done way more than that this year. But it's still an interesting project to take a look at, and there is still room to grow with the rest of the market as Bitcoin hopefully does continue to move upward above $100,000 over the next several years. And if you're looking for a stable coin, I think it's a great ecosystem to be involved in as it is decentralized. Another really cool thing about the Luna Terra token here is that they are having NFTs. They do have smart contracts and I plan on making another video in the future covering the NFTs and how you can get involved with those buy, sell them where they're listed, what the calendars are and all that. So look for that sometime in the near future. However, for right now, I'm going to get you guys set up. So let's go over to Terra Station and set up our Web3 wallet. So the wallet is going to be station.terra.money, um, basically just the subdomain of station on that main domain. And we can come over here and see everything you want about the token and you know all different charts. I really like that they have that here. You're also able to check out everything from the wallet to history, to swap, to stake, to governance, to NFTs, to contracts and tutorials. So really great they have that side tab here as well. I would actually like to see a few more projects doing something like this built into their wallet. Really great to see. There are several options for wallets. If you want to stake, you're going to need to download the desktop version of the wallet. However, for our purposes, we're just going to be using it for NFTs. I'm going to just download the browser based version. To do that, we can come over to the Chrome extension store and do a search for Terra Station Wallet. We're back at the main site. You can go to learn and on the side here, you do see Terra Station Wallet and then just click on that Chrome extension or whatever else you're using here. If you're using iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, they got all of the available options here. Let's go ahead and download it and add extension. Once you have it downloaded, you can come to the top of that little puzzle piece icon Click on that and find Terra Station Wallet and just click the pin to pin it to your browser. At this point, we're going to be greeted with several options. If you already have a wallet, say maybe you set one up on your desktop version to be able to stake and now you want one for the web extension, you can import or recover wallets. Um, you know, you can set up a new multi-sig wallet. You can access with Ledger. So there are a lot of options available today for our video. And just to keep things nice and simple as usual, we're going to just do a new wallet. You're going to need to name your wallet and come with a password and confirm that wallet. And you're also going to have a mnemonic phrase here, which is 24 seed phrase words. And you're going to need to write these down and keep them essentially secret. As if someone gets these, they will have access to your account. It is actually like a password for your wallet. So if you're not familiar with wallets, uh, definitely, you know, do a little bit of research and figure out how to secure that and how to back it up. Because again, if someone gets this, they're going to have access to your money. Money, and if you lose it, you won't have access to your money. I'm going to refresh the page and go ahead and complete this so you guys don't see my seed phrase and I'll meet you on the next step. You're going to have to verify a couple of those words to make sure that you did write them down and you do have them secure. And from there, you'll be greeted with this message, which gives you your wallet address if you want to copy that down, but you can easily get that later and just hit connect. And honestly, that's basically it. We're now set up. We can see I have zero Luna in my account and zero US Terra in my account. You can also add other tokens if they're available on the network. And the easiest way to get money in here is going to be either Coinbase or Binance or any other exchange that you personally like to use. I do have links for both Coinbase and Binance in the description below. So if you guys want one of those, go ahead and pick it up and just send it to this address here. Now, when we click on our little icon here for our web browser extension, we can see the exact same screen just in this like smaller screen here that you're able to use to connect with different websites. 
if you're interacting with that network. And we're gonna specifically be using it in the future for NFTs, so that's why we did this version rather than the desktop version. Again, you guys can get both and just import the seed. And if you're looking to staking, I may be doing a video on that also in the future, in which case we will need to download the full desktop version. But from here, you're good to go, get some coins in your wallet, and you're ready to start exploring the network. You could start staking if you have the desktop version. And if you wanna do some DeFi lending, you can also go over to Anchor, which does accept the US Terra token. So it is a really nice option there if you guys are looking to earn some pretty high yield on your stable coin. Again, go and check out Anchor. That's gonna be everything for today's video. Trying to keep it nice and short and sweet. Just putting Terra Luna token on your radar if you haven't had it there already. I'm sure you've seen it in the charts rising up and making excellent gains here while the rest of the market crashes. So that's why I wanted to just cover it as well as the NFT space is starting to explode. So usually when I do those NFT videos, I get lots of questions about how to set up a wallet and stuff. So it's easier for me to do this video first. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If so, tap on that thumbs up button, sub to my channel if you're not already, share it on social media with any when you think may enjoy this content leave me a comment below let me know what you thought and find links for everything in the description below as well as my social media including the abraxas dow again thank you guys for watching happy crypto and let's keep getting those nfts